What's up, Internet? It's your soul. It's been a while, and the epic Jeffrey Epstein network map that I made a few months ago, which took me about a month to make, actually, based on a wide variety of sources of information, as you can see, around about 300 different entities on here. Uh, people, organizations, governments, you name it, pretty much. Um, going back decades, connecting Jeffrey Epstein to various characters all throughout various different establishments. Uh, whose experience and background go through mafia groups, uh, military, media, science, universities, you name it, um, major corporations, and even going down to various different um, sexual abuse cults and so on. Uh, Nexium's down here on the bottom left for those who uh, know about that. So just really wanted to remind everyone that this map exists. The Jeffrey Epstein case continues to um, carry on with lots of different threads, and uh, I've got a couple of important additions that I just want to draw your attention to. Uh, these have come to light in the last few weeks and uh, seen some recent stories which um, really reminded me of this and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, point people to the fact that this is going on. So one of the things you might have heard recently is we have this guy Peter Nygaard who was accused of raping 10 women and uh, it was it's been shown that Basically, he knew uh, Andrew Windsor, so-called Prince Andrew in England, um, now more or less kicked out of the royal family, I think, or at least publicly, um, and who, you know, has been tied in many ways to Jeffrey Epstein, accused by numerous people, as far as I understand, or at least uh, by some of the key people in the case of Jeffrey Epstein, of being present and participating in the abuse of children uh, more than once, um, and, you know, he's classically gone on TV previously on BBC and uh, tried to defend himself and really just dug himself a deeper hole or didn't, you know, impress anyone. So this is quite a big story that happened recently. I think that case is still ongoing. Um, we can, uh, we'll take a look at one of the news stories relating to that in a moment. Uh, but we also have uh, another interesting woman that's been added in here, Christina Oxenberg, who is described as a uh, daughter of Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia and basically was a friend of Ghislaine Maxwell, or Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, and she's now offered her help to the FBI and said that she would testify in court that she was told by Ghislaine that um, Jeffrey and I have everyone on videotape, quote. And she was disgusted by all of this and basically has decided to come forward. Obviously, lots of people have commented, well, you know, she could have done it many years ago, but ultimately she had to come forward that many years ago. She would have been the only person who came forward, or at least maybe that she knew of. Um, which is not, you know, necessarily a good position to be in, is it? Especially if you don't really have proof of it yourself. Um, it would be kind of your word against theirs. Whereas now that we have a lot of evidence and lots of witnesses and so forth, it uh, makes her position a lot more um, sustainable and less stressful, I'd imagine. So we have these couple of stories here covering these. I mean, there's many mainstream um, st uh, papers that have uh, covered this and news sites, but this is just this piece about Peter Nygaard and uh, mentions in here, this is on The Guardian, it just mentions here that he, uh, you know, that basically um, Andrew visits him with uh, with his family, apparently. So he's described here as being Canadian. I thought from memory he was Finnish, but I mean, not that it matters too much, but anyway, perhaps he moved around. It says here in 2018, bah bah Bahamian authorities seized his mansion Nygaard K following a legal battle with environmental groups over plans to dredge the seafloor in order to expand the property's size. It's quite an interesting story in itself. Uh, the latest lawsuit lodged by US law firm DiCello Levitt Goodsler alleges that Nygaard uses powerful position along with drugs, alcohol, and physical force to lure girls as young as 14 years old to, quote, pamper parties and then rape them. Of the 10 people cited as victims in the lawsuit, eight were teenage girls and two were adult employees at the Nassau estate. At least two of the alleged victims required medical treatment following their ordeals, the lawsuit states. So this is really quite similar to the accusations made against Jeffrey Epstein. And I would say, given the wealth of evidence against Epstein, it seems very much like those claims are probably mostly true against him. Um, so it's interesting that these claims have been made against him here. Uh, this guy, I haven't heard too much in terms of people monitoring this case. Uh, but maybe we will do as time goes on. Uh, but really, the more important case, I would say, in a sense, um, in, from the big picture perspective with regards to Jeffrey Epstein, is this one, or witness, let's say. Um, this is Daily Mail Online, talking about Christina Oxenberg, 
Oxenberg's information included details of a conversation with Maxwell in 1997 in the latter's living room. Never forget it. We were alone, she said. Many things. All creepy, unorthodox, strange. I could not believe whatever she was saying was real. Stuff like Jeffrey and I have everyone on videotape. And she comments here, nothing will heal the trauma. These women are affected by their whole lives, but at the very least they should have money. The money in question, she adds, is not just the fortune amassed by billionaire Epstein, but also from Maxwell. She definitely has millions, says Oxenberg, who is publishing a memoir, Secrets, via the website Patreon. She wanted to marry him. She didn't, but she got a lot of money, cash and assets, all blood money. So that's quite serious, heavy accusations. You know, not the, I mean, yeah, she's writing a book, but, um, you know, it's not the kind of thing that you would do, in my opinion, if you were the daughter of royalty. And presumably she doesn't exactly need money, I would imagine. Uh, and... So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what what comes of all of this. And I think for anybody who's questioned the validity of all of this evidence, as a small percentage of people have done, um, usually when this map has implicated someone that they class as a hero, um, then you should probably start to pay a bit more attention to the wealth of evidence here and really start to question your beliefs regarding what is and isn't happening in the establishments and halls of power, so-called, uh, with regards to the abuse of many people, basically you know, abuse of pretty much everyone, but specifically children and uh, more vulnerable people in society. Because the bottom line, as far as I'm concerned, is that these power um, structures have for a very long time been targeted and populated largely by predators and people who seek to abuse the position that they have as far as they can for their own benefit, sometimes acting on their own, but it seems more often than not acting as part of large organisations who have taken it upon themselves to kind of turn the situation we have on this planet with numerous nations into this big weird chess game where they're all fighting each other and behind the scenes using every tactic imaginable um, to gain some sort of angle or edge over the others. But I think in reality, what we're really dealing with is epic scale evil within individuals who are exceedingly mentally and spiritually ill and who are just using this situation for their own benefit in order to fulfill strange fetishes or whatever it is that's motivating them unconscious imprinting that's driving their behavior uh, and they basically just spin stories to justify their actions so they'll say oh well we need to carry out this mission against this person from this government because it serves our national interest and they're a threat to us but in reality you know there's three or four other reasons really why they're doing it involving all different plots and schemes which might involve blackmailing a person or gaining personal power or removing a personal opponent or just fulfilling some weird fetish they have. So it's a very complex situation with so many people and, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people on this map who don't know much about what's going on but got caught up in it. Uh, there's also probably plenty of people who are fully well aware of all this stuff um, and are just trying to sort of benefit from it or cover it up and I'm sure there are many people in here who are also extremely ill and fully involved in extreme evil. Um, so I'm going to leave the link to this network map uh, beneath this video, wherever you see it. Uh, this really should be seen by many more people, but it's only had a few thousand views. You've got about 80,000 views on Graph Commons uh, in the first few weeks, and then it's tailed off and hardly any views on YouTube. There are far less interesting videos on this subject. They've got far more views um, on YouTube for this, and I'm pretty sure that, that these videos that I'm making are getting reach restricted. Uh, so please do, if you see this and you value it and you and you think this map is great or useful, Please do manually share this on with your friends and all your networks everywhere. And bear in mind that there is a fair chance that this URL is going to be restricted on major networks. So you might need to put a little bit more effort in than you would do normally to try and get this distributed around. Um, that's just how it is. So, yeah, anyway, if you have any more information after you've ch checked out this map that you know that should be on here that isn't, then definitely let me know in the comments and I'll check it out and uh, maybe add it if it's appropriate. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.